Hey up everybody and welcome back to the Just The Driven YouTube channel. My name is Josh Bridges and today we're going to be fitting some dynamic sequential indicators to our Fiesta ST. Now I've seen quite a few people who have opted to put these onto their cars and it seems like UK retailers are selling them from anything in between 35 and 80 pounds, which is the most expensive that I have seen them. Now these ones were bought off AliExpress and I kid you not, they were under 15 pounds and they look exactly the same, even down to the little connector and also the covering piece to protect the glass or the plastic just to make sure it doesn't get damaged in transit. Now we're going to be fitting these today. It should only be a five or 10 minute job, so this video won't be very long, but if I'm happy with the quality and I'm happy with the way that they turn out, I will be giving a set of Mark 7 Fiesta dynamic indicators away. So be sure to stay tuned till the end of the video just to see what the results are and to get some information on how you can win a pair of these indicators. So with that being said, and before we head outside, I just wanted to show you exactly what you got inside of the box. So this is one of the dynamic indicators. You can see the connection there and that goes in place of the original bulb. We've got this nice little protective coating over the lens and these are smoked as well. So I will be giving away, should everything go okay, an identical pair to these. Now also inside of the box you do also get a trim tool which I guess is used to be able to take the mirror cap off but we're going to be using a screwdriver behind of the mirror just to get the clips out of there as well. Now I'm just going to take the camera equipment outside but if you did find this video helpful please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, keep up to date with what we're doing and I'll catch you in a moment. First things first before we get on with anything to do with taking the mirror cap off what you need to do is move your mirrors all the way down and all the way to the inside of the car just so you've got a bit of a gap in there. Now I know you can't see it on the camera but there is a little orange clip just inside of here that will allow us to pop this mirror cap off so i'm just going to set the camera up and then we'll get to work on it so what i've managed to do is to get a flat headed screwdriver just behind the mirror over here just to push the clip in order to get the wing mirror cap off now i'll just pull the camera around just so you can see in here in a little further detail and then we'll go on to installing the new ones into these original slots so now the wing mirror cap is off you can actually see the original part just here there is a clip where the screwdriver is pointing that we just need to push in and get out like so. Now from this point, you've just got the bulb cover which reveals the normal bulb. Now in just a second, I'm going to grab one of the other units. I'm gonna pop this into the garage. We're gonna install it and see just how it looks. So here is the passenger side dynamic indicator. We're just gonna move this bulb out of the way here and just make sure that it all fits okay. The clip's now in. Well, that actually looks pretty cool i'm happy with that so it's now in quite well secure so we're just going to take this clip out there we are i'm just going to pop that in my pocket for a second we're then going to take the original bulb out of its place just here pop that in my pocket get the new one out find this in there like that so the new one just goes straight into where the old one was and you tuck this behind pop that in and that should be that so I'm just going to turn the car on I'm going to pop the hazards on just so you can see exactly what they look like and I'll see if we can get a shot from a bit further away where you can see both and just how different they are okay so we have the hazards on now this is the stock side so as you can see it's just one singular pulse just from the left hand side of the wing mirror there now if we just take a walk around please mind the camera stuff move that out of the way we now also have a sequential light. Now it looks pretty cool with it being dark on the sort of darker areas of the mirror cap. Now one thing that I was quite unsure of is whether to put a black mirror cap on there just to match the smoked effect. But I think it looks pretty cool and I'll overlay some video from a bit later on today when we can see them in the night time. But for now, I'm just gonna get everything and we're gonna make a start on that side and then we'll wrap up the video. So we've finished up now. As you can see there, we've got sequential lights. I've currently got the hazards on just so you can see them. It does also work when you lock and unlock the car. So when you unlock it, the light will come along and the mirrors will come out if you've got power fold mirrors. But do you think we should go for black mirror caps? That's the question now. Simply because the rest of the mirror or the mirror arm and where it's connected to is all black as well. But with regards to these products, I'm quite happy with the quality. They fit really nicely. 
but of course they've done the job as they have been described as well so let me know what you think down in the comments box while i get everything together head back into the garage where we'll talk to you about how you can win a pair of these dynamic indicators so we're back in the garage a week after we installed the sequential indicators and i'm very impressed with the way that they look now it took me maybe 15 minutes maximum to be able to get them onto the car and that was including setting up the cameras and all of that sort of stuff so for you guys it probably only take five or ten minutes maximum now part of the reason why mine took a little bit longer is because i had to set the cameras up and secondly my wing mirror caps were a little bit stiff but if they have been taken off in the past maybe you've wrapped them or maybe you put some different ones on then they will come off a lot easier now the reason i've done this video a week after filming the install of the sequential indicators is purely because i wanted to see if they worked a week down the line and i'm glad to report they absolutely do they look great in the daytime they look absolutely mint in the night time and i'm just so happy with the way that they look on the car so with that in mind i'm going to let you guys know how you can win your own set of smoked sequential indicators for a mark 7 fiesta now to be in contention with winning you only need to do three things the first thing is to subscribe to the just the driven youtube channel if you are watching on a phone the red button will be somewhere over here if you're watching on a computer it will be somewhere under the video down here somewhere second of all i'd like to hit that thumbs up button and like the video lastly i'd like you to leave a comment down below it can be absolutely anything what car you drive what power your car's running what you ate for dinner last night anything you want just put it down below to be in contention for winning these sequential indicators now i will be using a random comment generator on the 31st of march to pick a winner from this video so it's vitally important that you do all of them three steps like subscribe and comment to make sure you're in with a chance of winning so there we go that's the install of the sequential indicators i'm exceptionally happy with them and whoever wins this second set is also going to be very happy with them as well if you did enjoy this video or if you found it helpful please remember to like the video subscribe to the channel comment down below something you like about it and i'll catch you in the next one <laughs>